Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up your computer so that you can move files from your computer to another computer using Grid FTP via Globus Connect or Globus Online. Basically, it's right here reliable, high performance, secure file transfer. Um, and hopefully, we'll skip this setup in less than five minutes. Okay, so we're going to click here to get started. First thing it's going to do is ask you to create an account on Globus Online. I'm going to create an account for Chris Sherwood here, who's a local user. And I'm going to put in, but I'm going to put in my uh, Gmail address so I can uh, respond. And I'm going to enter his username and a password. And I'm going to agree to the terms of use here and register. Okay, so now you're creating a, you've got an account uh, here on Globus Online. And the next thing you do is you're going to go download the Globus Connect software for your particular system. So you could do it for Mac OS or for Windows. I'm going to do it for Linux. Okay, I'm going to click here. I'm going to download um, this uh, tar.gz file. Okay, and while that's uh, downloading, I can go and create my Globus Connect setup key. Um, it says enter an endpoint name. The, the uh, Linux cluster I'm setting this up for is called GeoPort, so I'll put that in there and generate this setup key. It comes back. I'm going to put this key here. I'm going to I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go uh, to my Linux system, and I'm going to uh, install the um, the uh, software that I downloaded here. So there's Globus Connect Tar X. Z, Globus Connect, and uh, CD into that directory, and you see there's a script here called Globus Connect. If you take a look at it, it tells you how to use it. You basically do a setup, and then you do a start using that security code. So I'm going to do um, dot slash Globus Connect dash setup, and I'm going to drop the security code here. Okay, and and then I can go ahead. Um, actually. I'm going to go um, respond. I should have gotten an email from support um, that thanks you for registering and confirming my email address. I'm going to do that. Okay. And my email address has been confirmed. And I'm going to go back to my window here and I'm going to actually start up Globus Connect by just doing like this start. Okay. So this actually starts up Globus Connect on my server and that then will allow me to go um, back to. Uh, my dashboard here and start a file transfer. Okay, so if I go here and put in GeoPort, um, let's see here, let's see sure with GeoPort, I should see my here's my files on the local system, and um, if I go over here, I should see a list of available systems that I can move files to. Now these are a bunch of systems that. Um, I, uh, that aren't actually uh, available necessarily to me because I don't have the, the right credentials to access them. Um, but there are some, uh, uh, there's a test file here called go. And so, um, so this is open to anybody. So you can just take a file here and um, drag it across. Say, this is just a tiny file, but um, sorry, click on it and then uh, move your, your file by clicking on the arrow. You can, of course, select more than one file at a time, and your um, your file shows up. Uh, you see the transfer success transfer um, has been completed, um, and the the bash history file has been uh, uh, moved over here. Now, of course, we want to move to the um, we want to actually move files to the IUS uh, server. And so on that system, actually, I need to edit this um, this grid file and actually add in, or sorry, this configuration file here on the on the server. So this is something somebody else would have to do for you, and add in the username of the person uh, who's going to require access. And now when I go here, um, I should be able to access. The IUS, um, oops, the IUS uh, testbed site, and there we go. So now I have the testbed site, and I can move files from this local system to the IUS testbed. That's it.